Want to know what sun cream you're meant to be looking for for your child? Well, I'm going to talk about that in today's video. Hi everybody, my name's Chloe. Uh, I am the mom to a little girl called India who is a baby who is currently six months old. Um, and on this channel, I talk about anything to do with babies, families, cleaning, um, and also uh, product reviews and a bit of help and advice just like this one today. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing because I also post every Wednesday. Um, and also don't forget to hit the bell button so that you don't miss out on any of my amazing videos. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the video. So my little girl is currently six months old. Um, it is all of a sudden got really hot and sunny outside and I had to go to Sainsbury's to go and find a sun cream for her. Now from memory I had realised that the potentially I had needed to get a UVB um, and a UVA approved sun cream but I really wasn't quite sure what I was looking for so I asked the pharmacist for some advice and I thought I'd come on here and just give you a bit of advice of what you need to be looking out for when you are buying a sun cream for your baby. Um, so the um, I have written some notes because my memory is pretty much like a sieve. Um, so um, yeah, I just wanted to go through um, a bit of advice about UVA, UVB and the star rating. Um, so a couple of things that I found out first is that when you have a sun cream um, it, for children, it doesn't have to be a specially approved kids sun cream. Um, when it says kids sun cream, it just basically means that it might be a bit gentler on the skin. It's not going to irritate their skin quite so much but you can get an adult sun cream for your child. It doesn't have to be a baby kid sun cream, so it can be an adult one. The other interesting thing that I found out was that um, a bit about tans, because historically I've enjoyed tanning. I tan quite easily. I don't lay out in the sun and just tan, um, but I'm not fussed if I tan. But apparently a tan is a sign that your skin is being harmed by the sun um, and uh, being harmed by UV radiation. And so it's trying to defend itself against that damage, which is why it tans. So I suppose it like covers up your like light skin as it were and stops it getting harmed, which is actually quite scary. So technically we shouldn't be tanning. Um, so that is a worrying factor for me anyway. Um, the damage that you can do to your skin through tanning or burning can obviously cause skin cancer, which I would hope the majority of us know that. Um, obviously because now I've got a little girl, I'm a lot more aware of putting sun cream on and what the sun can do to your skin. So I wanted to do a bit of research. So um, when you pick up a sun cream, um, you've got on it UVA and the star rating and UVB and SPF. So SPF is the number rating, uh, UVB and UVA. And I wasn't quite sure what these meant. So UVA is if you don't protect against UVA, it's basically skin aging. So you're gonna get wrinkles and you're gonna get lines and your skin's gonna age so badly. Um, and then also you can get skin cancer as well if you don't protect against UVA. Um, so uh, UVA on the sun lotion, on the sun cream, actually helps to stop skin cancer, which is something that you need to look out for. UVB basically just stops burning, um, which is great for my husband, Dan, because he's white as a sheet, kind of, and burns super easily. Um, so I wanted to also go through against the UVA star system. So you've got a naught to five star system. Um, the higher the star system, or the star, the more protection from UVA. Um, so obviously the more protection you get from not getting skin cancer. So a one star you only get 20 to 40 percent, two star you get 40 to 60 percent, three star you get 60 to 80 percent, 
four star you get 80 to 90 percent and five star you get 90 to 100 percent um you um i spoke to a pharmacist and she basically said go for the five star because it's the top of the top of the protection so what i read online when you're looking for a sun cream so the first thing you want to check for is the star rating so either go for a four or a five star and then you want to get the spf number so you need to go for that next um, and obviously 50 plus is the highest you can go 30 is another good rating to go for as well um, but also make sure it has got UVB in it as well so um, that is something you need to do it also said on the internet that some sun creams state that they can last for 10 hours but what it says is is keep applying it to protect your skin and obviously to protect your baby's skin if you've got a baby you don't want them to burn you don't want them to tan it's not very good for their skin so just keep applying it throughout the day and um and make sure that they're not in the sun direct sunlight and um just make sure they are completely covered in sun cream just lather them in it um and also yourself as well um so there you go that is all about sun cream um i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a comment section down below give me a good thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button um and i hope to see you in my next video thanks for watching guys bye